Hello everyone, today we are going to study about one of the most interesting topic that is about the human system. Human system is interesting because as you all are going to study about your body part, your organs, it will bring more curiosity to know about its functions and its system. So do you know how many systems are there in our body? We have 10 different types of human system. You can see in this diagram, but we are not going to study each and every system. We are just going to concentrate on a circulatory system. This circulatory system can also be known as blood vascular system. Why? Because it is going to carry blood through the blood vascular system that is blood vessels and it will reach to each and every cell of our body. It is also going to carry oxygen and required nutrients to the cell to keep them healthy plus it is also going to remove the waste products which is being produced by them during their metabolic reactions you need to also know that different organisms of different levels will have a different circulatory system but as we are going to study about the human circulatory system it consists of three parts so let us see the first part is a heart Heart is a pumping organ. Second is a blood. It is a fluid connective tissue, consists of plasma and formed elements. Formed elements are RBCs, WBCs and platelets. Third is a blood vessels. It consists of artery, capillaries and veins. You need to know that artery is going to carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the body and vein is going to carry deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart if i want to define the circulatory system i will define it as the system that carries or it contains heart and a blood vessels which will help to move the blood throughout the body and help the tissues of the cells to get enough oxygen and nutrients and also to get rid of the waste products now see as there are three parts we are not going to study all the three parts. We are just going to see about the heart. So let us see the human heart structure. Human heart is originated from the mesoderm. Its size is of a clenched fist. So this is my clenched fist. So my heart is of this size. Your heart will be of your clenched fist. Where it is being located? It is located between the lungs and the thoracic cavity. So this is the thoracic cavity. Here there will be a right lung, here there will be a left lung. So heart is between these two lungs and it is slightly tilted towards the left side. Heart is being protected or it is being covered by a double membrane layer known as pericardium. Here you can also see that this double layer will also have a fluid in between them which will be known as pericardial fluid. Heart have a special type of muscles which is known as cardiac muscles or it can also be known as myocardium because it is going to help in a rhythmic contraction and relaxation during the pumping. You can also see that our heart consists of four chambers, right? So upper two chambers are known as atria or auricles and lower two chambers are known as ventricles. These atriums and ventricles are also being separated by a septum. So both the atria are separated by an atrial septum which is thin and both the ventricles are separated by a ventricular septum which is quite thicker. You can also see that the right atrium and the right ventricle plus left atrium and left ventricle is also being separated by a septum which is known as atrioventricular septum and it is also thicker. Okay, the more detailed structure of the heart you can see in this diagram. You can see here again, here there is a right atrium, it's a right ventricle, left atrium and a left ventricle. Yes, as the heart have four chambers, the same way heart also have four valves. The first valve, you can see it's between right atrium and a right ventricle which is known as tricuspid valve. Why tricuspid? Because it have a three flaps. Got it? 
Now, the second valve is between left atrium and left ventricle that is a mitral valve or it can also be known as bicuspid valve because it also have a two flaps. Got it? So, these are the two valves, tricuspid and bicuspid or you can say mitral valve. Third valve is between right ventricle and a pulmonary artery which is known as pulmonary valve. Fourth valve is between left ventricle and a aorta which is known as aortic valve. And both the valves are can also be known as semilunar valves and they also have how many flaps? Two flaps. So heart have a four chambers, heart have a four valves. Got it everyone? Right? Now you also need to know that this pulmonary artery is going to take blood towards the lungs and the aorta is going to take blood towards the whole body part. But we'll see the circulation process or how the heart functions in a next lecture. So your the structure of heart is over. Thank you for time being. We'll see in the next lecture.